The story begins by showcasing a miniature house crafted with intricate artistry. In miniature art, very small things are made compared to normal size. Now the camera zooms towards that small house, and we got to know that where this miniature house is lying, a family lives in it. The old woman in this family has died, and now this family is going to their funeral. There was an old woman's daughter in the family whose name is Annie. Her husband and two children, a boy and a girl. Now Annie's daughter was quite strange from the beginning. She used to do weird things as well as doing strange things. Like sleeping in a small house even in the harsh winter, wearing strange clothes etc. And apart from being a girl, her body was like a big person. That is, she was not normal at all. Now when this family reached Annie's mother's funeral, there were a lot of strangers there to join this funeral. Now when Annie was giving the speech of the funeral, her daughter makes a very strange voice. Annie was wearing a strange pointed locket in her neck. And just like that, the locket was also around her mother's neck. Now it was surprising for the strangers to come here. But it is surprising when a man looks at Annie's daughter and smiles. And she also starts looking at him. After the funeral, this family comes back home. Everyone was told about it. Like Annie was an artist of a miniature. And the initial miniature house was made by her. But she was always worried and filled with sorrow. Annie's son Peter was also strange. He was addicted to cigarettes and many other drugs. Annie's husband was such in her family that was normal till now. And her daughter was the most strange. When she went to sleep at night, she asks her mother Annie, who will take care of me after my grandmother's death. On which Annie says, I will keep son, I am your mother, I have to keep. Hearing this, her daughter asks a very strange question. Who will take care of me when you die? Hearing this, Annie gets scared. But the next moment she said, your brother Peter, he will take care of you. Annie tells her that my mother, that is your grandmother, loved you the most. So much that she did not let me come near you in childhood. And she used to feed you milk herself. On which her daughter replies, but grandmother wanted a boy. But when I was born, she did not love me out of helplessness. After putting her daughter to sleep, Annie starts checking her mother's stuff. From which she got a note, in that Annie's mother was apologizing to her. That you will be sacrificed to everyone, which will be very precious. And in return you will also be given a reward. The purpose of her mother saying this was to give a message to Annie. The next day when Annie's daughter was sitting in the class, suddenly a bird came out of the window and banged hard, due to which she died. In the same class there was a scissor, by which Annie's daughter removes the neck of the dead bird. Now after damaging the throat, Annie's daughter keeps her head in her pocket. And when she was going home, we see a woman standing on the other side, who was constantly looking at Annie's daughter. Now this family decides to close Annie's mother's room. But before that we were shown a room, in which there were a lot of evil rituals, that is, there were signs of magic, which were pointing to demon, that is, evil and black magic. Now Annie's husband got a call. That someone has dug Annie's mother's grave and taken out her dead body. Now knowing this, she was very worried. But she keeps this secret from her family. Because she did not want to bother her wife Annie. The following day, Annie attends a session with a group. Where a lot of strangers come. And by telling each other what is in their heart, they relieve the burden of their heart. And they get along with each other and become good friends. And Annie used to come here often. Here she tells very strange things about her mother. She started telling that my mother was a little crazy. She wanted to put someone else inside my brother. But my brother took his life by getting worried about all this. After that, my dad also died for some reason. Apart from this, my mother was so strange that I don't know how she could control people. She had a strange power, through which she used to put something in males, with which she used to come in control of my mother. That's why when my son Peter was born, I didn't let him go to my mother. But when my daughter was born, because she was a girl, I allowed her to go to my mother. And maybe this is the reason why my daughter is so strange today. She doesn't look normal. Now Annie's daughter was in her room. Suddenly she got a strange bright light, which was pointing her towards a field. And when Annie's daughter went to the field, there was a man sitting in the middle of the fire. Looking at him, it seemed as if he was doing some evil ritual. Her daughter was looking at him very carefully. That's when Annie came here, which pulls her daughter inside with her. Now her friend calls Peter to the party. Peter was ready to go. So Annie also sends her daughter to the party with him so that he doesn't drink alcohol etc. After reaching the party, Peter started enjoying with his friends. And there he also starts smoking. His sister was getting bored. So when she came to a place while roaming, she eats a cake. Which had dry fruit. And because she was allergic to this dry fruit, she started getting sick. She started suffocating. Seeing her condition, Peter got very nervous. Immediately he took her in the car and left for the hospital. On the way, his sister takes out her head from the window to breathe. But at this time, an animal came in front of the car. Now to save from collision, Peter drives the car straight to the side. And there was a wooden pillar on that side, due to which his sister's head hits so hard that she dies there. So terrible that her head falls off the body and falls on the road. 
Peter was very sad after meeting her. He goes into shock, and without telling anything to his parents, he quietly comes to his room and lies down. The next morning when Annie and her husband found out about their daughter's death, then both were very sad. Annie was crying, we see her crying continuously until her funeral, because she was not able to come out of this shock. After this incident, the behavior of the family became very strange with each other. No one was calling each other. They just stay quiet. To get rid of this sorrow, Annie decides to go back to that session group. But because her condition was not good, she was not able to dare for it. But still she decides to go. She was about to leave by sitting in the car. Suddenly a woman came there. Who tells Annie that I am your neighbor? I live a little away from your house. I found out about your daughter's death. That she died suddenly at a young age. She was very sad to hear this. But let me tell you one thing. Recently my son and grandson died due to drowning in water. I can understand your pain. Because I have also gone through this pain. But I can help you to get you out of this sorrow. Saying this, she gives the address of her house to Annie. And leaves from there. Now the next day Annie goes to her house to meet her. She sees a carpet at the door. Which seems strange to her. But she recognized it. As if she had seen this or this kind of carpet before. But before she could think much. That woman opens the door and invites Annie inside. And both of them start talking. And this is how they become friends. In talks Annie tells me. That I have sleepwalking for many years. That is the disease of walking in sleep. One such day when I was walking in sleep while sleepwalking. So I was going to put petrol on my children and set them on fire. But at the right time I came to my senses. So I stopped myself. From that day onwards, my relationship with my daughter Peter is not good. Because she believes that I am her adversary. And I tried to kill my own children. Coming home, Annie is making a miniature art of her daughter's death. That is, her dead body was lying on the side. And her head was falling apart from her body. Seeing this, her husband gets very upset. On the same night, when this family was sitting at the table and eating. Then Peter's own mouth gets angry with Annie. He says, Mama Sana is your fault. You insisted on sending her with me. But when we were coming back, I don't know how she died. Hearing this, Annie also started getting very angry. And she started screaming and saying that all this happened because of you. Because she was with you when she died. So you must have killed her. Seeing this, Annie's husband got very upset. He calms both of them down. It was clear to see that now the distances of this family are increasing. And these people are breaking each other. Now the next day when Annie was shopping in a store. So there she meets that woman again. And tells Annie that recently I did a ritual. By doing this ritual, I contacted my dead grandson's soul. I want to talk to him. By telling this, she takes Annie to her house by making a lot of requests. And by doing that process, she really talks to her grandson's soul and shows it. Now Annie did not like this process at all. Because it was disturbing her. But that woman was very clever. She advises Annie to do this. You also try to talk to your son's soul. Call him here. You don't have to do much. Just take one thing from him. Read some mantras. And that's it. You will get in touch with your soul. That night, while Annie was sleepwalking, she went to Peter's room. Where she sees all those tiny ants on Peter's face. Which were entering his eyes, mouth and nose. Here it was found that Annie was not really sleepwalking. In fact, she was dreaming all this. And in her dream, she came here by sleepwalking. Now in this dream, Peter asks his mom. What problem do you have with me? Why are you always after me? To which Annie replies that you never wanted me. I did not want to give birth to you. My mom begged me to give birth to you. Because she wanted a boy. Even I wanted to kill you. But I don't know how you survived. Knowing this, Peter got bored. But the next moment, Annie also wakes up from her sleep. And she also found out that this is just a dream. She immediately goes to her husband and son. Telling them about this ritual process. Starts this process. So that according to that woman's wish. She can call her son. Now as soon as the process started. Peculiar occurrences begin to transpire. Like suddenly Annie started talking in a scary voice to her son. And the candles were also burning on their own. Peter was very scared of all this. That's why his dad throws water on Annie's face to stop this process. Due to which the process broke. And Annie came to her senses. Strange thing. Whatever happened just now. Annie did not remember anything about it. Because maybe her son's soul had come inside her. Now the next day we see Annie very worried. In anger, she breaks all her miniature hearts. Now Annie's son's diary, which was used in this ritual process. In that, Peter's picture starts to appear on its own. The next day when Peter was in school, he sees himself in the mirror. Where his real and the reflection, were completely opposite to each other. That is, in reality, his expressions, emotions were completely serious. While in his reflection, he was looking very happy. There was a smile on his face. Annie tries to burn her son's diary. But where earlier the diary was not on fire. But when it was on fire, Annie was also on fire. Due to which she has to extinguish the fire of the diary. 
Now Annie was very confused by all these things. She had a lot of questions in her mind. To get the answer, she goes to the neighbor's house, where she does not get neighbors. But there was black magic stuff. And there was a picture of Peter too. And this ritual magic was being done on his picture. Now when she looks at the carpet at the door again, then she remembers that just like this carpet was near my mom, she quickly ran to her house and starts checking her mom's stuff, where she gets exactly the same carpet and in the same design, many other carpets too. And she was also pointing towards some magic signs. She was suspicious. That's why she looks at the album with pictures in which she sees the neighbor woman with her mom. And here it became clear that the woman had been working on Annie's mom's signs from the beginning. And now after her mom passed away, she was exceedingly clever. She was making Annie do the ritual to get any of her goals. Just like her mom, Annie also gets a book in which souls, ghosts, demons, devils, and black magic was written. After reading that Annie comes to know that why was all this being done? Meaning why was she doing the ritual? So actually all this was being done for the demon of hell. By doing all this, she wanted to give the demon a human body, which can be of any man. Now Annie's mom was doing this because she was a part of a devil group who worshipped the demon demon. She considered him her god, because the demon demon is very powerful. He is a king of hell, who is one of the eight kings there. He is also called such a god, who troubles people, he does mischief with them, and he likes to go in the body, who is the weakest, to send him inside a person, and then to take him out. Some rituals etc have to be done. When they were doing this work for so long, Annie's mom first tried to put the demon demon in her daughter Annie's arms. During all this she was given a lot of pain. She was tortured, he knew what was going to happen to me, so he got tired and took his life, and he was dead. So Annie's mom started looking for another body, in which the demon demon could be put. But because of his actions, Annie had a doubt on him, so she did not let her daughter Peter go to him, so she could not put him in Peter. Now although the demon is a male demon, and the body was also male, but Annie's mom put him in Annie's daughter. This is the reason why she was so strange, and was telling her mom, that the boy was royal to her grandmother because he had to be put in her body. Then she made the real target Annie's daughter Peter. So before dying she made a great plan, in which her friend, that neighbor woman was supporting her. That neighbor woman was deliberately trying to befriend Annie, because the plan of her cult, she had to do it somehow and complete it. That is, by putting the demon's soul inside Peter. After knowing all this, Annie checks the attic of her house. Annie checks the small room above, where she sees her mom's dead body, who was listening to the story. Moreover, she did not even have a head. Now as we found out, that is, the dead body of mom was stolen from her grave. So here the summary of this is, that the dead body was actually taken out by her cult people. Then later after beheading her, she kept it in the attic. Because beheading is also a part of her ritual, now suddenly blood on the roof. Demons also become the mark of the demon. Along with this, we see the mark of the demon in this house. Like on the locket, bed and on that carpet. The next day when Peter was sitting in the class, then he also heard a strange voice with which his body got stuck. He does not know what happened to him, and he hits his head hard on the table, due to which his nose was injured. His blood began to come out. Then after doing all this, he became very angry. He was so scared that he fell down. He was very scared, seeing his condition. The rest of the children in the class also get very tired. Then his dad comes to school, and brings Peter back home. Seeing his nose injured, Annie also feels very bad. Annie tells her husband everything related to her mom, guilt and demon but she does not believe these things. She thinks that she has lost her mind. She is going crazy whenever she is saying such things. Now Annie tries to convince her husband again and again that please burn our daughter's diary because that is the only way to be connected to that demon. So everything will be fine as soon as she burns it. But her husband refuses for this because it is obvious that by doing this, Annie also burns. But without listening to her, Annie herself throws the diary into the fire. So this time instead of Annie getting burned, her husband gets hurt, which was not going away even after a lot of extinguishing, and was increasing, and by burning like this, she dies. Peter also came to his senses, and when he sees that my dad died of burning, then he becomes very sad. Now suddenly anything happens to Annie, and she runs after him like crazy to kill Peter. Actually now the demon had possessed Annie, and now he was coming into her body and controlling her. Seeing this, Peter gets very scared, and to save his life, he ran from there, and comes and hides in the attic. Outside, like Annie, out of her control, she starts banging her head on the door loudly. While in the attic, Peter also finds his grandmother's dead body in a bad condition. After which he throws his mom up, who was about to damage her throat. There were a lot of people standing here, who were not wearing anything, and they were looking at Peter very carefully. Peter got scared. He breaks the glass and moves outside quickly. 
Suddenly a bright light comes and enters his body. This light was exactly the same as it was around his sister. From which we understood that finally the demon has taken over Peter's body. And he has entered it. After this, Peter gets up and sees his mom in a very strange condition. That is, she was flying in the air and going towards the small house outside. He also comes to that house. There were a lot of people here who worshipped the demon. They all bow down in front of Peter. Because now the demon had come inside him. And now she was thinking of him as her god. Then that neighboring woman came here, who was very happy, because what she had been planning for years. Today it was completed. She had found the body of the demon. That too of Peter, whom she wanted. She puts a crown on Peter, and she calls him demon. As soon as this happens, all the people also start chanting. Because the one whom she had been worshipping for years. Today he was in front of her. Inside Peter, the whole cult dances with joy on their success. And with this, this film ends here.